I had a meeting in central London today at 12 o'clock, so I thought I'd wander about London, do some shopping. I went and bought myself a nice new shower cap. I lost my one. I put it away before I left for the world, and I don't know where it went. So I got a nice new one. And I thought I'd come back to the theatre a little early today and film you a video. Giovanna, I watched your video on Guilty Pleasures, and I would have been a fool if I didn't guess that Nutella was one of yours. I'm gonna admit, it took me a while to think up some of my Guilty Pleasures, but I've come up with three main ones. Firstly, Jolly Ranchers. I love them so much. My teeth are falling apart, which is why this jar is still full. But I can't tell you how much I love Jolly Ranchers. They're an American sweet, and you can get them over here, but they're quite expensive. I thought the grape flavoured ones were my favourite until someone gave me Cinnamon Fire flavoured. Now they, they are my favourite. Cinnamon Fire Jolly Ranchers. Guilty pleasure. Secondly, it's the Twilight series. The movies and the books. I was ill and off from the show a couple Saturdays ago and yeah, I just sat and watched all five Twilight movies. And I had a great time. I had a great afternoon, I loved it. I was always a massive fan of the books. I actually told you guys to read the books. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys like them too, right? The Twilight series is definitely one of my guilty pleasures, I have to admit. And thirdly, I never would have thought this was one of my guilty pleasures until I really thought about it. But listening to Disney songs and show tunes on long car journeys, or just any car journeys, I think is one of my guilty pleasures. And the reason I realised this is because although Pete Bucknell is a big Disney fan, I don't think he quite understood just what he was getting into when he became friends with me. Because on every car journey, I, I make him sing Disney with me. No matter where we're going, or how short or long the car journey is, I make him sing all the Disney duets with me. I think he enjoys that too. He says he enjoys it too. But I always think he breathes a sigh of relief after I get out the car. <laughs> I may not have a lot of guilty pleasures, but I tell you what, I do have a lot of superstitions. Especially now that I've been back at the theatre for about three weeks, I've suddenly realised just how many superstitions I I have within the show and it's always silly little things like I have to touch the pimp's hat just before lovely ladies like I have to just do that on the top of his top hat so that it makes a noise just before the lights go up before lovely ladies waiting for a bite otherwise I convince myself I'm gonna have a really bad show and just before my entrance is eponine about halfway through act one two characters pass me and one of them is pregnant and the other one is a prostitute and so I have to say preggers tart face to both of them as they walk past just before I make my big entrance as eponine and if I don't, again, I feel like oh, I've not done that and it's gonna be a rubbish show, something's wrong, oh no! And I always have what I call a post-mortem treat. After I die in Les Mis, I have to have a cup of tea and like a biscuit or just something to reward myself <laughs> for having a good show, I guess. Let me know if you guys have any weird superstitions, like for instance, Tom, when you go on tour, or G, do you have any things that you need specifically to make sure that your writing goes well? Like, do you have to write with a specific pen, or do you need to be sat in a specific place? And let me know. Today, I look like this, and I shall see you next Wednesday. Wingapo. I watched Pocahontas the other day and it's really in my head. If you haven't already guessed from the title of this video and my TARDIS mug, I am going to be doing the Doctor Who tag.